another video. I'm super excited because today I have a little get ready with me for y'all and um, we are going to be spilling some tea today, you guys. So I am definitely a little bit nervous about that because um, I don't want to say that it's necessarily like it's good tea, it's bad tea, it's a little scary tea. So y'all are just going to have to stay tuned to find out what I'm talking about exactly and y'all better not fast forward just for the cheese mint. Don't be that cheese most honest, yeah. As you guys can see, I have my hair freshly washed. She's, um, you know, just kind of like air drying because my split ends are so fucking tragic right now. Like, I'm literally at the point where I think I'm gonna um, take off my extensions and chop off my hair. Like midlife crisis type shit once again. <laughs> Before we get into the transformation, I want to give you guys a little up close of my skin, how it's doing. I don't know what's going on, but honestly, I feel like um, I'm going through puberty all over again. As you can see, I literally have um, acne now, which that came out of nowhere like totally um so that's a little concerning if you guys have any recommendations please leave them down below and yes my nails are very 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 fucking tragic but my nail girl is coming tomorrow so don't worry about it girl these are getting fixed like i'm not gonna see my mans with these hands uh what man what man are you gonna see huh <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to give a huge huge shout out to Frankie Rose for sponsoring today's get ready with me Yes, I love you Frankie Rose fun fact for those of you that actually didn't know this um, Frankie Rose actually hosted my very 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 first meet and greet and literally probably only one person showed up <laughs> I was literally probably like I want to say 15 years old. So I definitely have a very, very huge spot in my heart for Frankie Rose. They've always believed in me. I'm literally getting the, the chills right now with the bug. They've always believed in me. They've always supported me. And I'm really happy that I'm still working with them um, now that I'm 23. Almost 10 years of working with Frankie Rose. What the fuck? That's insane. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for supporting me. No matter what, even though I'm a pothead and I like to show my chichis, you guys have been there by my side. No matter what, because believe it or not, girl, there has been plenty and plenty of companies that have let me go because I have chichis and I like weed. First things first, of course, you want to prep your little canvas and make sure it's all uh, moisturized up and ready to go for our foundation. Like I said, I started to switch up my routine and now i do my uh foundation first and then i do my eyeballs i don't know why i just feel like time wise that also helps me because i'm always kind of like running late and if i focus too too much on the eyeballs then you know my skin isn't gonna look that popping and now that your girl has acne issues i prioritize the skin you know what i mean and spritz some of my morphe setting spray do you guys remember when everyone was obsessed with this and then everyone forgot about it. <laughs> I just remembered about it and then I went and I got one. So love that for me. I'm also going to be putting some under eye cream. This one is the Tarte um, C Brightener treatment thing. You just put that underneath. Especially since I pack on my highlight so, and concealer, you know. So you want to make sure you got it real nice and moisturized. So... This might seem like a little crazy, <laughs> but I haven't gotten Botox or injections in a while. And it's crazy because you can literally see like my expressions now. Because when you get Botox, obviously your forehead is like frozen. But now you can literally see like when I'm mad or when I'm surprised or when I'm confused. <laughs> I'm fucking annoying by... Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and let that sink in a little bit. We are using the Frankie Rose Primer. This is the Prime Addiction Face Primer. This doesn't have any color in it, but it is super, super yummy looking. I don't know if you guys can even really see that there is product in there. But it does kind of have like a poreless effect to it. So this is like a really good base for your foundation. I have it on my finger right here and I just like to kind of put it in my t-zone kind of everywhere if i'm being honest but i like to focus it in in this area and you can literally see it kind of like mattifying my skin but it's just like kind of um like blurring out my pores so we love that because homegirl got some crazy pores but before i even get into the foundation i like to cover up the stress 
you know, underneath my eyes with my Frankie Rose Our Little Secret Concealer. This one is in the shade Neutral. Super, super bomb, you guys. I like to use this concealer to, you know, correct as well as highlight with the lighter shade after my foundation, Obby. So let's just go ahead and do some correcting. Dude, my under eyes have just been so, um, what is that called? Dark. <laughs> like, girl, the stress of it all. Yeah, no, I've actually been stressing out a lot lately, you guys. Um, and I don't even know if I should already start talking about this because I don't want to, you know, get like emotional or anything. But I guess, you know, we can just go ahead since I already fucking brought it up anyway. <laughs> anyway and i know that you guys probably can like you know obviously notice this but um for those of you that did not know or may not have watched my video i actually did get chin lipo um about two months ago and um i love the results and everything but if i'm being completely honest with you guys i've been struggling with this new problem of not having sensation in my lips so so supposedly it's normal i've gone to my surgeon i have talked to him and he keeps telling me to wait it out and you know that it's a part of recovery but to me it is very very scary because like i film for a living i um you know like i'm always on camera and i'm always being seen out in public and stuff so yeah it has definitely been um a struggle i'm not even gonna lie and it is hard for me to just, you know, just be told to wait because, like, I honestly haven't really seen, like, a really big improvement. Um, but I just feel like I'm starting to kind of adapt to it, if that makes sense. So, as you guys can see, I'm more than sure you guys have noticed because um, I always get questions about it. No, this did not happen from injections or anything like that. It's from my chin lipo. Um, now, I don't want to sit here and say that it is permanent nerve damage because I don't know that 100% and I don't want to give you guys false information, but am I worried that that's the case? Yes, I'm definitely, definitely worried, um, especially because, you know, my amigo, he got his surgery too and he's not having that issue whatsoever. So. I've just been trying to kind of, you know, just go with the flow and do whatever I can on my end to kind of, you know, um, help the situation. But like I said, I feel like in the beginning when I was fresh out of surgery, like I honestly felt like it was normal. It wasn't until like I hit my two month mark that I was like, okay, I feel like this is kind of like a little sketch, you know, but, but just kind of keeping an open mind as well because I have gotten surgery like on my boobs and my body and normally like you're not fully recovered until like six months to a year you know so like I also don't want to say anything but I do feel like I kind of had to address it because I'm getting really 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 tired of seeing people um, you know kind of point it out and stuff you guys I wake up to myself every day and I go to sleep to myself every day I see it I see it I just haven't said anything because I don't I mean first of all I don't think I really have to but second of all, you know, I just I just don't really want to accept that this is happening, you know, so, you know, whatever ends up happening, I'm just I've just been praying and kind of keeping like an open mind and, you know, we'll see how it goes. But I'm hoping that it's not like another botched job because y'all already know I've been through that once before. So let's just hope for the best please send me some prayers. I would really, really appreciate it. So now that I went ahead and covered up my stress underneath my eyes um it looks pretty good i'm using the frankie rose matte perfection uh foundation this one is in the shade neutral as well super super bomb this is a matte foundation but i wouldn't say that it's one of those matte foundations that like dry you out like it actually looks really 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 pretty i'm gonna do one side of my face first wow honestly though being 100% honest with you guys I feel so much better like addressing that <laughs> well my eyeballs sounds a little moist yeah no but I really do feel like way better sharing that with you guys because I mean it's been hard <laughs> I'm not gonna lie This side has about a pump and a half, and this side has no pumps. 
super super bomb i fucking love this foundation and also also i already know it's super hard to find like your perfect foundation shade but frankie rose actually does have a little shading match system um on their website so in case you guys aren't sure what color to get you guys can just go ahead and check that out it really does help like it actually does yes foundation yes dude not my lips looking like they're gone i'm all now we're just going to go ahead and start highlighting a little bit and um, giving our face some dimension. <laughs> so now, ladies and gentlemen, if there are gentlemen watching, now we're going to be taking our Frankie Rose, our little secret concealer, but this time in the shade Fresh. This is a much, much brighter shade. Um, we're obviously going to be using this to kind of highlight and give our face some dimension. Also, I'm drinking some very dark ass, very dark, dark, dark coffee. This is the Nitro Cold Brew from Starbucks. So if I seem pumped, this is why. Ugh. Ugh. Dude, it's a little spicy. It's a little intense, but like it gets me up and running. So it'll do. Honestly, I feel like this is my favorite part of doing my makeup. I love this part. I'm excited. Oh my god, did you guys see when Will Smith smacked the fuck out of Chris Rock? <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Bitch, when I saw that, I was like, damn. Like, have you seen those slapping competitions on TikTok? <laughs> it was on some shit like that. Like, holy shit. But honestly, like, I don't really know the drama too, too much. But I did see that, like, people were like making fun of will smith because i guess his wife has like cheated on him before which i had no idea about that like i live under a rock <laughs> honestly but how do you guys feel about that did he, do you feel like will smith had the right to do that i don't know he still won right after you know what i mean but i don't know i mean honestly like without knowing that she cheated on him, I feel like he has the right to do that. But since now I know that she cheated on him, like publicly hard as fuck, I don't know if, I mean shit, I don't know if he should have done that, you know? I don't know, that's just me, bro. What do you guys think? Isn't it funny that like, we just put little makeups on our face to transform it <laughs> casually? That's kind of cute, like humans are funny. So now we're just going to go ahead and start setting my under eyes um, with my Pro Contour Palette by Frankie Rose, of course. Can you guys tell what color is my favorite? Doll Face. It's called Doll Face, by the way. That's my favorite. I use this one to brighten up my under eye, and it really fucking brightens it up. I also completely forgot to mention this. You guys can use my code ANES69 for a discount. Um, and this is literally like the only product that I use under my eyes, so yeah like unless you don't like a bright under eye then you probably shouldn't do this but i sure do so if you want to look like me if you want to you know do your glam like me then do what i'm doing ah, just kidding. you can already see like a huge huge difference it's just so bomb oh my god dude i'm not even gonna lie dude that coffee has me fucking wild i'm not even kidding now that i'm all set and looking pretty cray cray now i just go in with my own powder foundation and set the rest of my face and then we go in with the bronzing and the contouring action this is what the face is looking like now so far so let me just go ahead and add some of the contour and uh, show you guys how quickly my face transforms Now we're just going to go ahead and put a little bit of concealer on our lids again to start doing our um, eye makeup. I have to sneeze. Oh, fuck. oh my god, my eyes are changing. Ugh, okay. Thanks if you guys said bless the old thing, yo. Oh, I hate when like I do my foundation and all my hairs get like 
foundation on the, not the booger. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna put a tiny bit, just kind of like mainly like on the lid and just like blend it out. I honestly don't think I'm gonna do like super crazy eye makeup today. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my favorite palette ever. This one is by Makeup by Mario. This one is the Master Matte palette. And it is so, so bomb. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that with this fluffy brush, get it all over there, and literally just start kind of mapping out our eye. I like to use this shade as a transition. And then you can already see that it gives just like a little bit of dimension, you know what I mean? Whenever I do do my makeup like this, like face first, I like to make sure that um, I don't really do super dramatic eyes just because I'm super messy and like there's fallout and you know, I don't wanna fuck up my actual face makeup. So this is what the shadow is looking like so far. So if you really go in on it, girl, you're gonna get some good pigmentation out of it, you know? But if you just want like a wash of color, probably don't go in as hard as I did. So now I'm just gonna go in with this shade right here. It's kind of like a soft, like orangey brown like a burnt brown and we're just gonna put that in the crease a tiny bit and then that's literally gonna be it for like the browns and then i'm just gonna do like a quick little liner look she's a killer looking at you wow that's dark i put too much <laughs> oh my god Just add a tiny bit more of the concealer on my lid. I know, I know, I feel like I said that I wasn't going to do any more. And here I am doing some more. But, uh, you know, we got to look cute. I think I grabbed the wrong shade. I did, but that's okay. Blend this out on the entire lid. Grab like a flat shader brush and use this creamy, yummy, creamy color and uh, put this all over our lid. And then that is it for the shadow thing. We are about to do the eyeliner, which this eyeliner, you guys, it's so, so, so amazing. So I definitely recommend you guys go and get it. It's from the Sephora brand. And I think it's only like, excuse me, I think it's only like 10 bucks if I'm not mistaken. Oh my God, I have the hiccups. So I'm just gonna need a moment of concentration. And then right now I will tell you guys something super iconic. I can't believe I literally forgot to mention this earlier on in the video, but I guess that just gives us more time to spend some quality one-on-one -on -one alien baby time together, right? Cheers to the eyeliner, cheers, period. Oh my God. I'm so shaky, so I don't know why the fuck I decided to do eyeliner, but here we are, girl. Hopefully, I don't scream right now. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, I think they look pretty similar. I'm not going to try anymore because I don't want to fuck it up. My hands are literally trembling. But do they look similar? No. But that's okay. <laughs> It'll do, they're sisters, not twins. I can see I have my lashes on now. I'm wearing uh, Extra by Batty B Lashes and I just went ahead and put some mascara and a little bit of eyeshadow on my lower lash line. So now we're gonna go ahead and start doing the brows. I'm using the Beauty Creations um, eyebrow palette and we're gonna be using the shade Caramel, which is this corner one right here. You guys can use code NS69 for a discount, y'all already know. So. Enough of that chit chat. You guys remember earlier, like a few seconds ago, when I was like, oh my god, I have cheese mint and I can't believe I didn't tell you guys this or I forgot about it, whatever, XYZ. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I officially own my very own streetwear brand, you guys. Oh my god. It's called Muse Co. And you guys can go ahead and follow us on TikTok and Instagram at Shop Muse Co. So I am actually co owner of this brand. I partnered up with some business partners of mine and we created something super iconic so this is all things streetwear you guys it's not your average like 
boutique type aesthetic you know what i mean um it's definitely unisex so we're catering to everyone y'all already know so be sure to check us out you guys we're actually going to be doing something super iconic for the month of april you guys we're hosting our very first pop-up shop and we're going to be having exclusive items just specifically for that pop-up shop we have some super dope activities lined up for you guys and of course i will be there and i will be hosting a meet and greet so be sure to be on the lookout for all that information you guys we're super super excited for this and we can't wait to share more information with you guys enough of that chit chat let me go ahead and finish off my look add some brows and then we're gonna go ahead and get into the lips i like to line my brow first like that and then i kind of just like flick the color in I started to use this new product for my brows actually this is by elf and this gives you um like a brow lift and it's like a gel which i love because normally with these you kind of have to activate the actual product but this one already comes wet so you don't have to do like the most so i just kind of go ahead and grab a little bit i don't know if you can see it on the actual brush there's some hairs on there too love that um so i just get a little bit and then i just kind of place it and just start brushing my brows up last but not least we are on to the final step which is the lips i've never done this lip combo before but i was on tiktok and i saw someone wearing like a reddish brown lip liner and it looked fabulous so i want to try that today then i have my liquid matte dose of colors um liquid lipstick and this one is in the shade Cozy. And then I do have my lip topper lip gloss from Frankie Rose Cosmetics. And this one is in the shade Deception. The lip pencil is in the shade BFF2 by ColourPop. So this is the lip liner. It's super, super pretty. Now we're just going to go ahead and add a little bit of that liquid lipstick into the center. See, I just want you to know that you are really Dry. We're going to be adding a layer of this goodness right here. Like I said, this uh, lip gloss by Freaky Rose is in the shade Deception. So it doesn't actually look red, but it does give you like a cute little like reddish tint. It's kind of like, you know when you get a manicure or a pedicure and they put that very light pink tint, like clear shade, but it's like super iconic and it makes such a big difference. Yeah, it's kind of like that. So this is the completed look. She's looking cute. I like how I said I was going to do something simple. And here I am with a full ass fucking beat. <laughs> Casually. Love that for me. So I hope you guys, you know, learn a few things or try a few of the products that I tried out today. These are all like my go-to everyday products. So girl, I promise you, I love them with all my heart and soul and my butt as well. So with that being said, don't forget to check out Frankie Rose. You guys, they have a bunch of products face, eyes, lips, gloss, anything you want, girl, they have it, I promise. I will be leaving a link in the description box down below, and don't forget to use my coupon code ANET69 for a discount on your purchase. I think I had gloss in my teeth, but uh, don't mind that. So yeah, Frankie Rose, we love her, but if you guys want more Get Ready With Me's, be sure to leave a like and a comment so a bitch knows. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for supporting me always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.